Hey everyone, today we're going to do another reaction video to some Z propaganda. Today we're going to be uh, reacting to Jarlo Slavic. I got tagged in this video as well as a couple other of his videos. And uh, let's uh, let's see what great wisdom Mr. Mr. Z Man here has to has to spread. Woke up this morning and learned that a little girl's lost her life in the Donetsk. Yet again, another civilian, a child, attacked and killed by Ukrainian forces. That sounds pretty awful, if true. But let's, let's see if it's true. So if we actually look up the date this was posted and the day before, I, I basically searched the date range of um, September uh, 1st through 2nd, because that's when he posted the video on September 2nd. So he said it was the day before, so we want to give him some credit there, give him a time buffer. Um, and the only source I can find on anyone dying in the Donetsk region is from Yahoo News. And it says two killed, two wounded in Russian attack on Donetsk Oblast. Um, but what we're seeing is this was not Ukrainian forces. This is Russian forces launching another attack on Voldahar, where we've seen them fail multiple times. Um, but it says a 43-year-old and a 19-year-old female were both killed by an explosion near their building. Doesn't sound like a child and doesn't sound like Ukraine did it. So now that we can see that it's Russia that did it, is that does that make it bad that Russia did it? Or is it suddenly not bad that it's not a child? I I have a little bit of a special item here that I'd like to show you guys. This is something that I don't show people often, but I've talked about it. This is something I found while searching a destroyed and burned up building in Ukraine. This is a little Ukrainian girl's fifth grade homework. This is her fifth grade English homework. Dated for February 18th. Six days before the Russian invasion. In this homework, she goes on to talk about her family and her dad and how much she loves them. How much she was spending time with them. This was found burnt with the rest of the building and a bunch of other school books. If you're going to make shit up, don't involve children. This is actually from a child who is most likely dead because they were so close to the front lines. It's from a house in Kharkiv. It was destroyed and burned. A little Ukrainian girl's fifth grade homework. And you want to make up a fucking story about the Russians killing someone? You want to make up a story about the... Or you want to make up a story about Ukrainians killing someone in an attack that didn't happen? Are you fucking kidding me? Good. What the fuck is wrong with you? Also, I would like to point out to everyone who didn't notice beforehand, but, um... What do you see up here on this man's account? Um, this account is labeled as a Russian state-controlled media account. What that means is that even TikTok has identified that this isn't a random American or a random civilian speaking on his own behalf. This is literally a Russian government-owned TikTok account. A Russian government-owned TikTok account that's spreading propaganda. And yet I've got Russian supporters tagging me to going, look at how honest this man is. Yeah, of course you think he's honest, because he's fucking Russian-owned. Are you kidding me? With the usage of Western weapons, Western training, because this is, in fact, a Western United States proxy war to destabilize Ukraine on the border of the Russian Federation. If it was a U.S. proxy war... Why did Russia start it? Wouldn't wouldn't Russia have known that it would have been become a proxy war? Like what what logic does that make? Like you people just talk in circles and contradict yourself at every angle. If this was a R U.S. proxy war, wouldn't the U.S. have had Ukraine launch their attacks first? Would, wouldn't it, wouldn't it be the opposite of Russia going in and invading and then getting pushed all the way back? And you're not making sense here. 
I'm so sick of waking up and I get these little comments and they go, you're a paid opposition. You're a paid troll. You don't know what you're talking about. Children. Are, are you telling me that you're not paid? Are you going to sit here and blatantly lie and spread misinformation and say that you haven't been identified as a government paid and controlled account? Oh, God. I Lovely. Are dying. And now we have Ukraine using cluster munitions banned in over 100 countries. Not by Russia. Russia's been using them since the beginning of the war. Were you complaining about that? I don't think so. But not only are they using cluster munitions, they're using them on civilian populations. And nobody seems to be infuriated by this. That's because Ukraine isn't using it on civilian populated areas. So you complain about cluster munitions being used. Are we going to complain about where Russia used them? In civilian populated areas. I mean, I've seen Russian, Russian cluster munitions in the city that I was living in in Ukraine. There's one on display in the center of the city because that's where it landed. There was also my friend who sent me photos and videos of himself finding unexploded Russian cluster munitions just on the outskirts of the city. And if we go more into Human Rights Watch, Human Rights Watch, Watch and the UN have found 24 separate instances of Russia using cluster munitions on civilian populated areas. So don't try to sit here and fucking Z virtue signal like you give a shit about civilians. You don't give a shit. You don't care about anyone but yourself in Russia. You are literally a paid fucking propagandist. I said it in previous videos. I've interacted with these people in Russia and they're human. Yeah, gee, I wonder how you have interacted with people in Russia. Could it possibly be that you're literally owned by the Russian government? Just a hunch. Just like us. And I've said it before. They smile. They laugh. They love. They they hold hands. They walk. Wait, hold on. Hold on. What do you, what do you mean just like us? Who is us? You are not part of us. You are not part of we. You are not part of anyone who is fighting against the atrocities that Russia is committing right now. You are part of the Russian fucking regime at this point their dogs they play with their children they just want happiness and so do the people of ukraine who have been attacked by their own government for over eight years man i, I love when people in russia still use this argument um and they say ukraine's government attacked them it's funny how you've got multiple russian generals and Prigozhin coming out and fully admitting that that was never true that that was a blatant lie and what a surprise Prigozhin's dead, and now General Gherkin, the one who's at the forefront of admitting that that was a whole lie, guess where he is? He's in Russian prison now because they made they declared him an enemy of the state for speaking out. Now, thankfully, the majority of those populations have been absorbed into. I, I don't even want to finish this video. Like, I, I probably shouldn't have even done this. Like, I could have just easily started this video then gone oh well you know he's got a piece of propaganda in this video but here look he's literally a russian state controlled account this is disgusting behavior from a disgusting human being and anyone who follows this channel and actually believes it and tries to say oh this is a reasonable independent person you're blatantly lying to yourself and you're blatantly lying to those around you and you're supporting the death and the genocide of innocent ukrainians what the fuck?